Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. Facebook and Instagram's parent company Meta is being sued by a bunch of states in the US, alleging that the platforms are harming children's mental health. Here's Josh. We've long been told that doom scrolling isn't great for our mental health, and now the company that makes Instagram and Facebook is being taken to court over it. Meta has repeatedly concealed the ways in which Instagram and Facebook exploit and manipulate its most vulnerable consumers, teenagers and children. Yep, 33 US states with more expected to follow have teamed up to take on Meta in a massive lawsuit. They allege Meta has been knowingly building addictive features into its software. Despite the fact research has linked the use of Meta's platforms to things like depression, anxiety, insomnia, and interference with school and life, which they reckon has caused a youth mental health crisis. The company knew exactly how these design decisions could and would hook young people to the point of addiction, and yet continued to use them, and in many cases rejected using feasible alternatives that they knew would mitigate harm to our young people. But Meta says it's disappointed by the move, and insists that keeping young people safe on its social media platforms is one of its top priorities. Iceland's Prime Minister has walked off the job for 24 hours, along with tens of thousands of other women in the country. The strike is to protest the gender pay gap there, where in some industries women earn at least 20% less than men. Women and non-binary people were urged to not do any paid or unpaid work, including household chores. This day is very special for us because we uh, all uh, skipped work uh, 48 years ago and we are doing it again today. Uh, because the gap is still there and we're fighting against it. Hmm. It's the dark brown Aussie yeast spread you either love or hate. And now it's turning 100. Here's Michelle. Are you a Vegemite kid? Yes. Too salty. Essentially rather disgusting, but I quite like it. How do you like it? Thick or thin? Thick. Gives you heartburn. Yup. Vegemite, the iconic Aussie spread, has been dividing people for 100 years. Not bad. But how and why was this salty stuff ever created? Well, it was inspired by Britain's Marmite, which was no longer available in Australia after World War I. Food businessman Fred Walker decided that Australians needed their own version of the spread. So, a hundred years ago, Dr C.P. Callister, a chemist, was asked to invent an Aussie version. And he came up with what we now know as Vegemite. The thing we need to remember about Vegemite and so many other well-known Aussie brands like Wheat Bix or Tim Tams is that catchy advertising played a big role in making them iconic. And now, a hundred years on, while Vegemite is widely known, it doesn't mean it's widely loved. <coughs> not the yuck anybody's yum, but it's not my cup of tea. Tell the people how you really feel. You just, you didn't eat it in the right way, man. Vegemite, you can't just, it's not like Nutella, you can't yeah. scoop it on, it's just refined, just a little, a little bit. Now to a tale about the tale of a joey named Cottontail. Cottontail here is an orphaned eastern grey kangaroo joey who had part of their tail amputated after an incident with a car. Kangaroos use their tails to keep their balance, so Cottontail here was a little unsteady on her feet. And while recovering at a wildlife centre in Queensland, carers came up with the idea to make Cottontail a prosthetic tail. Enter Adrian. I said, oh, well, why not? Why not? Let's give it a go. And I thought, well, OK, how are we going to make a tail? And I thought uh, a shoehorn would be really good. <laughs> Adrian says that the shape of a shoehorn was a good substitute for a tail because it has enough flexibility that kangaroos need in their tail to get around. So how does Cottontail feel about her new tail? I thought that when I put this tail on Cottontail that she'd be trying to, number one, flick it off, number two, turn around and bite it. She'd done none of that, which was, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And that's the tale of Cottontail's tail. And it's also the end of the show, but we'll be back tomorrow with more. Bye.